Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. And yeah, if you like my channel, subscribe, share, like, and leave comments if you feel so inclined. Um, today, I felt it was important to talk about Operation Nexus. I have done a video of, on it in the past, and I wanted to revive it because it's very important that people know that the police are working with the Home Office. And a lot of people are being deported for either petty crimes or um, spent crimes and really silly little things, even non-convictions. And what's happening is, is that the police are just stopping people randomly under the guise that they're seeking high harm criminals. So the basis of Nexus is like they're looking for terror terrorists and people with guns and things like that. Very high harm criminals. But they're in fact deporting non-criminals. And that's the sad thing about this. Um, since 2018, I think since June 2018, they've already deported 3,000 foreign nationals. And the thing is, is that a lot of those who are, who are, have been deported are not offenders. And there is nothing that people can do about it. They just pick them up. They question them. They ask them things like, who, are you in a relationship? Are you working? How much you earn? And they reckon they have the right to ask these questions because these are the kind of questions that anybody in the workplace or anybody... Um, any friend would ask that question. So they are saying that the police have the same rights as any other civilian to ask you these basic questions. And what's happening is, is that they'll also ask you about your status. And, you know, in order to verify that status, they're going to take you in and you could be possibly criminalized. I don't know if when they take you into, into custody, whether at that point, they take your fingerprints, they do your biometrics. I'm not quite sure at what point they do that. But I'm hoping that it's only if you're found guilty and not if they're investigating whether or not you're illegal, um, illegally in the country. Now, I, I put up something a couple of days ago about Put, what, put your passport page on WhatsApp because that will prevent you from having to go down to the station. Because if you can show that you're legally in the country, you don't have to go down to the station and therefore you will not need your fingerprints or anything to go on their system. Because once it's on their system, whether you're legal or not, it's not coming off for over 100 years. So it's very important that you protect yourself. I mean, most phones, they have passwords. I doubt very much. I mean, you wouldn't put your passport number so that they can see that. Also, if anybody was going to hack into your phone, they can see that. But you would just show the part which shows your face and the um, fact that you're a British citizen. Or, you know, you've got a British passport or the visa part that says you have indefinite leave to remain. Whatever aspect of that is in your passport, you can actually have that on your phone. So if they do question you, it's just a thought. It's not, you know, you don't have to do it. But it's just, I was just thinking, these police will stop you. And it's not like you're going to have your passport on you. You're not going to be walking around with such a valuable document. And during that time when they're trying to verify whether or not you are legally in the country, if you do have it on your phone, you can literally say, look, officer, it's on my phone. I can show you. Saves them carting you off, saves them criminalizing you. So that was just a thought. So going back to Operation Nexus, I'm going to read some things out for you. It's very short. This is a short video. I've been doing some long videos recently, so I'm going to keep this one short and sweet. Um, mm, where do I start? Oh yeah, over Easter, they had Operation Nexus under the guise of a policing enforcement um, five-day event. 
they were stopping people. They're saying they're looking for people who are tired, and um, people who have who are might be um, drug impaired, or they might not have their seat belts. Or what was the other thing? Fatigue, speed, alcohol, driver distraction. Under the guise of Nexus, they were having this operation. Now, you know, if they stop you for any of those things, it, it would have been to stop you, find out what your immigration status is, contact the immigration office and have you carted off if you didn't have that information. That is under the guise of this policing enforcement week. But it's passed, so I don't know how many people they got during that period. But that was over Easter this year. Um, so, let me just read out quickly so I can get this um, finished. So it won't be longer than, say, maximum 15 minutes, hopefully. Um, the courts reckon that Operation Nexus is legally performed. It has been argued that it is discriminatory because police can racially profile people based on their race, cart them off down the station where immigration officials are waiting, and the next thing you know, they're in detention, because that's how it's working. Foreign nationals have to be black, as far as they're concerned, or have an accent. And if you fit that criteria, even the EU nationals, they're hauling them up. It's not just blacks, it's the EU nationals as well, that they're hauling up and deporting. Operation Nexus is a partnership between the Home Office and the Commissioner of Police for the Metropolis, designed to establish whether or not foreign national who is detained is lawfully in the UK, and the way they establish whether or not that foreign national is legally in the UK is by taking him into custody, probably taking fingerprints, taking all those biometrics, asking all those questions, and then if they find out he is legally that legal, then they release him. But they've got all that information in the meantime, which is my issue, because really they should ascertain all that information on neutral grounds, and then if that person is illegal in the country, then you can take all the biometric stuff and the fingerprints. But you should not criminalise them before you found out, before you verified, as far as I'm concerned. That is illegal. But at the moment, they're just doing it based on suspicions. And they feel justified to do it based on suspicions because now they have that S60 in, which means you can stop and search for no reason at all under that guise, Operation Nexus can sneak in. Anyway, um, so what has been happening is that they have been detaining foreign nationals without first verifying whether or not they are legally in the country and then ascertaining the evidence afterwards. Um, they need to be questioning the foreign nationals before detention and then when they find out she or he is illegal, then they can detain them. The process has been examined and it has been found that requesting the immigration status of a foreign national and having that information verified is perfectly legal. But they should be, as far as I'm concerned, yes, it's perfectly legal, but it should be done on neutral grounds, not as a criminal, in quotes. Uh, placing someone in custody is criminalising them. They have their fingerprints taken, photos and all sorts of biometrics, only to be discharged a few days later when they discover the individual is legal. Um, the court has held that the prohibition on systematic verification in the Citizenship Directive, Article 14, brackets 2, is not infringed by Operation Nexus. This is because following the CJEU decision in Commission versus UK, the court, court concluded that merely asking for verification is not unlawful systematic, systematic verification. No, just merely asking somebody to verify their information is not unlawful. But if you're doing it, if you're arresting them, putting them in jail or in detention centres or holding cells while you are finding out or while you are verifying that information, that is illegal. You should be able to find out whether or not, I mean, they have systems, they all, they all have systems and uh, immigration offices in all their police stations. 
They're actually there as a standard. They're actually in your workplace. They've employed immigration officers in workplaces undercover. So it's not hard to get that information. They should not have to put somebody, detain somebody and um, criminalize them in order to verify information. A quick telephone call should do it. Anyway, um, the process of gathering information is therefore separate from the process of verification, which is systematic, is prohibited by Article 14. And that's what I'm saying. Yes, they can gather information, but it's a process of verification that they shouldn't be doing while you while they are holding you. But they do. And what can you do about it? Article 14 um, requires that all the rights and freedoms set out in the Act must be protected and applied without discrimination. Article 14 is based on the core principle that all of us, no matter who we are, enjoy the same human rights and should have equal access to them. But we don't have the same human rights. That is just the point. And that is why the system is unfair. If we all had the same human rights, then we wouldn't be here now, would we? We wouldn't be questioning anything. But the thing is, is that it's ironic, really. Well, it's not even ironic, it's paradoxical because, you know, foreign nationals, by their very nature, the assumption is, I always say this, the assumption is, is that if you're on, if you're black, you are not, there's a potential that you're not legal in the country. And I don't understand how they get that concept when you know, people have been in this country since 1948. So, you know, they must know that there will be generations of people from 1948 till now that are legally in the country, not because you're black. It means that you're a foreign national offender. But that is the assumption. And they're guilty until proven innocent. And in the meantime, while they're waiting to be proved innocent, they're having all their biometrics run through the system and recorded on the police database. And that is where it's unfair and is illegal. Anyway, um, oh yeah, I don't know if how many of you saw that video. Oh, I can't show it now. But the um, the police were raiding a place in Birmingham. If you look up um, the deportation, um, what you want to know about deportation, I think the title is uh, Put Your Passport on WhatsApp, Deportation and the Consequences of It. Um, on there, I put a video about... Um, I don't know if it's Operation Nexus or if it's just immigration officials going into a pub in in Birmingham and doing a raid for immigrants, an immigration raid. They're now targeting pubs, they're targeting clubs, and they'll be going into parties and all sorts. So be on your guard. Um, the court also held that the police can lawful, lawfully ask arrested persons about their immigration status. Police officers have the power at common law to ask questions of individuals and provide the answers to the Secretary of State in order to assist him in the exercise of his governmental function of enforcing immigration law. Nothing wrong with that at all. Of course they have the right to do that, but they need to do it in the proper order and in a legal way. So the police stops you they'll say to you, um, are you legally in the country? The person might say yes or no. And the police, I mean, with all these systems, all they've got to do is call up a number. They've got, a sp they've got an immediate line to the immigration office, to the home office. All they've got to do is say, within that little time while they've got the person there, we have Mr. Jones here um, of such and such. His date of birth is such and such. Is he legally resident in the country? That's all they've got to do. And they can be asking them other questions also. 
but they shouldn't need to bung them in the back of a van, take them down to the detention centre, lock them up while they're finding out all this information. That is where it goes wrong. And that that is what is wrong with the system. Um, okay, they're saying that this is because as a matter of capacity, a police officer has the power to do anything an ordinary citizen can do, including non-coercive questioning of a person in custody. And in any event, the questioning is for police purpose. They're going on like we have an issue with that. We don't have an issue with them asking questions about their immigration status. We have an issue with how it's done and the protocol in how it's done. Grabbing people up, you know, pushing them against walls and all that, that's not necessary. Anyway, um, like I said, Operation Nexus allows deportation of people who haven't committed a crime, even though it's targeted at high harm. Um, there was 3,000 deported since 2018. Um, yeah, over Easter. Yeah, that's about it now. I told you it was going to be short and sweet. Hopefully I didn't go over the 15 minute mark. That's all for now. Take care.